Okay, uh, rest controller annotation. So this is a convenience annotation that combines controller and response, response body together. So if you actually take a look at the rest controller source code, you can see uh, it is in fact the, uh, uh, what is called the stereotype uh, that actually combines uh, other annotations, controller and response body. So instead of specifying controller and response body uh, like this, uh, the and then you you know you're basically saying response body for all the method, you can just say rest controller, okay? So you comment this guy out, then you're gonna just say rest controller. That is simplifying uh, the uh, the uh, uh, coding a bit, okay? So that is exercise four. So exercise four, basically all we have to do is we are basically adding rest controller uh, the, on the controller. So you're going to actually remove controller, but instead of, uh, instead you're going to just say uh, rest controller. And then you don't need all this response body anymore. Okay, so you can just remove all this guy like this. Okay, uh, and then we are going to restart the application and see it works fine. So uh, I'm going to actually use this one as a base here. Uh, instead of uh, controller, we're going to say rest the controller, OK? And then uh, import. And then response body. Yeah, we don't need this one anymore because uh, rest controller assumes that, OK? So we don't need response body. And here, uh, response body. Uh, here, we don't need it and uh, you don't need that one. Okay, so save the change and uh, let's run the application. Run as and Java application and main application and things work, uh, things should be working as expected. Okay, so let's see, let's verify that is indeed the case. Okay, so uh, I'm going to over here and uh, let's actually see uh, yeah, I mean, the, am I in the right place? Ah, yeah, I was in the wrong place. Uh, uh, what was the, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I forgot the location of the uh, test files. <laughs> so I'm gonna actually create the test files again. Uh, first of all, you know, we can actually try the, uh, whether this one works. So it should actually return uh, the first person and uh, so here, test file JSON. So I'm gonna actually create the test file JSON one more time. Uh, I play around with the uh, directories. So test file JSON. So yeah, so this is what I wanna create the test file JSON. Uh, oh, I have this one here. Okay, so I should, oh, it's in the labs, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to labs and do it. Yeah, so I have, uh, oh, why don't I have a test file this? Okay, so I'm gonna just uh, test file JSON, and we're gonna create one here, okay, and uh, save the change. So we should have that test file JSON. Now I should be able to create a new, uh, the uh, person like this, and that should work fine. Okay, so that worked, and I should be able to uh, uh, list the people. Uh, so it should be, we should be able to uh, display all the people that should uh, list the uh, new person that was created. Now, one thing that actually uh, broke, however, is, uh, is this. So we're gonna actually see what has broken, okay? So that is, REST controller, okay? Uh, so that is what we did, all right? So that worked fine. But now, when you actually go to people.html, let's see what happens. So here, we're gonna go to uh, people, yeah, people.json, this should work fine, right? But when we try to display people uh, in HTML, uh, the, uh, you know, it's actually sending XML, right? Uh, the uh, um, so uh, let's say HTML or something like that. Yeah, so when you do display HTML, it actually displays just people. The reason is because if you take a look at the code, 
uh, I'm gonna actually use the uh, lab documentation so when you do people.html it display people the reason is because in our original code of get all in HTML right uh, it's now actually returning uh, the uh, oh so uh, so that's the correct case so when you do this it will return people the reason is uh, when you actually go to um, uh, when you actually take a look at the code in HTML it returns people as a response body okay because you know when we are using rest rest controller it's actually automatically adding response body so instead of actually regarding this guy as a logical view name is considered this one as you know string value that will be returned to the client uh, directly as a response body all right so what we need to do is in this case is we need to modify the code so here uh, we are going to actually use model and view uh, the uh, object in this case when you actually use a people uh, is considered this one as a view okay so you know we're gonna just uh, use this code so instead of actually returning a logical view like this uh, instead of returning string uh, we are going to actually use model and view uh, object okay so save the change uh, import and save the change and then when we are rerunning the application now it should work fine okay so of course uh, all the other uh, the uh, JSON and uh, XML it should work fine uh, but even in HTML so if you go to HTML this one should work fine as well so now it should actually display uh, people in the in the people.jsp page okay so that is exercise four all right